Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Aisha Driggers. I'm the director for the City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities. First things first, we know it's really hot out here, so we'll keep it brief. And we do have some cold waters over there by the pole and that cooler, um, so please help yourself. So we are excited to announce the partnership between the City of Columbia, Tom's Creek Family Farms Mobile Market, the Comet, and the South Carolina Department of Public Health. We'll hear from Pam from the Comet and Larry from Tom's Creek shortly. We also have representatives from the South Carolina Department of Public Health. They'll be at Greenview Park over the next two Wednesdays to offer live demonstrations on food preparation. It was important to the City of Columbia to add an educational piece to the mobile market. So the market initially launched in March and continues to offer fresh produce, proteins, proteins, dairy, and fresh baked goods. They accept all forms of payment, which include senior vouchers and healthy bucks. The addition of this stop adjacent to the Comet Center was important to Councilman Brennan and Councilwoman Herbert, the mayor, and the entire city council as a commitment to making the market accessible to those riders utilizing the Comet. The Columbia Food Policy Committee continues to offer support and guidance as we identify ways to meet the needs of our community. And at this time, I'll ask Ashley Page from the Columbia Food Policy Committee to share some remarks. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, in 2018 and in 2019, the Columbia Food Policy Committee went around and spoke with neighborhoods and asked them what is it that they want to see the city do to enhance the local food system for them. And we heard two of the main things was one, we want better access to healthy, affordable, locally grown food, but also that other area was we want to make sure via transportation and particularly via public transportation, we're able to access food locations and also employment opportunities. And I think this really hits home that this is the mesh of both of those worlds where we're bringing at a transit center directly, we're bringing healthy food. I mean, folks can get meat, they can get dairy, they can get fruits and vegetables right here at the transit center. So certainly the Columbia Food Policy Committee continues to support the efforts of Tom Creek's Family Farm, as well as the city to continue to innovate, continue to make Columbia one of the best cities when it comes to innovating for food access. And so we will continue to do that and really are thankful for this partnership and looking forward to seeing the, the access this really can provide for residents as they're transversing throughout the city, where they get into medical appointments, where they get into employment opportunities, or just fun things to do around the city. But we're so thankful for the Comet, the city, and Tom's Creek Family Farms for this unique partnership. Good almost afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for braving the heat to come out today for this exciting partnership. Ashley, thank you for that great introduction. It is all about food access, access to fresh, healthy offerings. Our days are busy, running around, work, family, play, and a lot of times uh, uh, getting access, being able to run by the grocery store to get good quality food becomes an issue. And we're trying to take care of that here in Richland County the City of Columbia and the Comet. Uh, again, thank you media and supporters for being here today. It was important to us that we collaborate with the Comet to promote this mobile market, especially to ridership. And as we look to grow ridership via the Comet, we recognize that access to transportation is a challenge. And this partnership allows us to connect those riding the Comet to the mobile market. Pam and her team at the Comet were ready to jump on board when we brought this wild idea to them on how to uh, market it uh, through the bus posters and daily announcements here at the Transit Center and on our wonderful transit buses. It's our hope that this partnership will increase the access to healthy food options for those riding the Comet. This innovative concept has been one of several initiatives by the city and the Food Co uh, Policy Council to expand access to healthy food options. As the market launched, we also recognized the importance of including an educational component. So we're excited to have the support from our SC Department of Public Health to offer nutrition education this month. The city 
we will continue to focus on food insecurities in our community and seek solutions and get innovative to address these challenges. The collaborative effort of our community and our council is essential to success of projects such as the mobile market. Healthy communities make great communities and we're gonna keep striving to do that with the help of the comments. Before I bring up Ms. Uh, Pamela Bino reed I wanna introduce the executive director of the Comet, a true partner that's helping us get creative and innovative, Mr. Maurice Pearl. Raise your hand there, Maurice. And now I'm gonna throw it to Pamela Bino reed from the Comet. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Pamela Bino reed the Director of Marketing and Community Affairs for the Comet. And on behalf of the Comet, and under the leadership of our Executive Director, Maurice Pearl, I want to say just how thrilled we are to be a part of this partnership. Um, when Kelsman Brennan brought this opportunity to us, we were so elated that it helped with our mission of providing access to food, access to education, access to health care, and many other things that the Comet provides. The fact that not only is the mobile food market accessible at many of our bus stops around the city, but just the fact that it is adjacent to the lot that we have our hub at Comet Central makes it of utmost importance to the people who depend upon us for transportation and who ride our system. So we are excited to be a part of this partnership with the City of Columbia, with Tom's Creek, and with DHEC. So thank you all. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Schneeberger from Tom's Creek Family Farms. One, I'd like to thank this wonderful team we have behind us. If it wasn't for the City of Columbia, this would never happen. As you can see, we built, we built this 40-foot trailer and we are now out six days a week in the City of Columbia with it. We learned, our, we learned some stuff on the first three months that we did this. We did have to make some moves. We changed some locations and it's all for the better that's working. Um, Mondays, we're at Hyatt Park. Tuesdays we're here, Wednesdays we're at Greenview Park, Thursdays we're off of Harden Street right next to Drew Wellness, Fridays, when I make it, we're at the food truck Fridays on Bull Street, and then Saturdays we're right downtown at Soda City at Hampton and Maine, and they actually shut the intersection off for the trailer. So everybody works together and we are trying to bring the freshest farm fresh produce we can bring here to the city of Columbia. Thank you.